Would you like to be able to preview your SVG files in Windows File Explorer instead of seeing this? This is how. So here's the solution. You can go ahead and install PowerToys and once you install it, you'll be able to preview your SVG files in Windows Explorer. So it's just a quick install, but before you install it, you need to just make sure that you meet the requirements. And it says here to ensure your machine meets them. You want to hit your Windows key on your keyboard plus R. And then it'll bring up the WinVer version you need to type in. And then here, you want to just check this number, the build number, against this one. And as long as it's higher, this will work for you. So if it's not higher, you can go ahead and try the alternative way of installing an extension. It's called SVGC, and I'll put a link to that alternative uh, way of just in case that might work for older versions if for some reason you have an older build. So now what I would recommend for the majority of people, it'll say install power toys, but what I would do right below this, instead of clicking on that, just go to, let's see, install at the Microsoft store. Here we go. I would just do it there because it's just going to be easier for the majority of the people out there. Um, if you wanted to, you could, could go through all these. If you click on this, it'll, bring you to this page and all this, but this can be quite confusing for the majority of people. So that's why I say that. So if you're familiar with that, then go ahead. But for everybody else, I would say click on this link, install from the Power Toys page, and then just get in store app for free. So open the store. Now I've downloaded it before, so um, it might be a little bit different for me, but I'm gonna, going to install it. It's a quick install. So I just bypassed the installation process, but make sure you do uh, install it just like any other program. And then this will pop up. So this will kind of explain all the different things it does. Now, I explained that this, we're really in, installing this so you can use the File Explorer add-on. So if I click on this, so this is everything you can do with this utility. But the one we care about specifically for this video is an add-on that will enable files uh, previews for SVG, STL, other things. So the other thing can do the PDF. So a lot of people might want to preview PDF files. So that's a handy addition as well. So you could read through all this if you want to know more about it. So if we can click on the settings. So like honestly, when you install it, there's really... Um, not, nothing you need to do unless there's some some kind of conflict. So it does talk about potential conflicts here. So you might want to read through that if you understand it, but if it's not causing you any problem from the get-go. But there's really nothing else you have to do. I mean, there's other things this tool does, so you could read through it. There's a couple things I really like. But let me go ahead and close this. I'm going to close this because it, it's on by default. And what you'll notice is instantly... I have previews of my SVG files that used to just be this big Microsoft Edge um, icon because that's the default viewer for uh, my SVG files. That's Most browsers are default ver viewers. So anyways, um, if I go to other SVG files, so that was one. And then here's PDF, by the way. Let's go ahead and do large icon preview. So now I have a preview of my PDF file and the image file, and the image, that's by default. But now if I go to the SVG files, I can now see my SVG file previews. So this is handy for those that have like a ton. Like if you're a creator or crafter, you may have a, a, a bunch of SVG files and folders that you need to go through, browse all the time. So this is helpful to find them. So that's like it. Pretty simple. If you want to explore power tools a little bit more, just make sure that you go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and close this. There's the help. So when you install, I'm going to go ahead and close this. I'm just going to show you. It'll put it down here. So this little icon. If you want to look at the settings, you can click at that. The other things you might want to explore and I find really helpful. So here we go is i got to find this settings here. I think it's underneath here. So some of the things that I use are color picker for a designer so you can choose any color. Um, 
so I'll do a couple demos of a couple things, but the color picker, you can just use that key combination. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to, going to do the shift window C. And if I want to pick a color off the screen, any color, that's helpful. I can go ahead and I'm going to click that, that one right there, right there. And it'll come up and tell me what the hex number is anyways that's more of a designer thing so there's there's a couple other things that you can do in here and you can do uh, the other thing that I use a lot is power rename anyways there's a lot of things so I I always encourage people I installed it only for the functionality and testing to make sure that their SVG viewer was worked well but I found there were a couple other things that were useful within this tool such as power rename and the color picker and the image resizer. So you might find a few more that might be helpful for you. I hope you find this helpful as I surely did and I thank you so much for watching.